Hey guys, Nick here, Last Stop Reviews, starting a new segment today on my channel called Sound Review Sunday. Now the items I'm going to be t touching on in this segment are mainly going to be any type of sound accessories you can use for any Apple product, whether it be Macs, iPo iPods, iPhones, whatever it may be. If, you can, if it's sound related, it's fair game. Now the main things I'm going to be reviewing for the, about the first two months will be mainly iPod speaker docks, um, headphones, and headphones that are built for the iPhone with built-in microphone. Now the thing I'm using to kick off this section is the Vesta Life Ladybug. It is $110 and I honestly do not think it's worth that price point guys. There are a lot of good things about this but there's a lot of bad things. The main one being sound quality and when it comes to it, buying a sound dock worth $110 I think the company really has to be on point with the sound quality and overall I really just found this muddy but that could be my ears because I am used to listening to more professional grade items so I'm just going to kick it over to close up cam let you guys see the functions on this and then I'll probably come back to a little zoomed out camera angle just so you guys can get a decent sound quality of it and it's not going to be overly distorted by being a little too close but guys I'm going to kick it over to the close up cam right about now Okay guys, as I was saying, this is the Vesta Life Ladybug and hopefully you can tell by the design itself where it gets its name. But the front speakers actually just fold out to expose the iPod dock, which really is a nice design as far as storage goes, but it just kind of gives it an awkward shape if it's sitting on a shelf by itself. But it does come with five dock adapters, which pretty much will fit anything up to the iPod Nano third generation. This is actually Katie's second generation I'm using now mainly because it is not compatible with the iPhone 3G more than likely due to the fact that the new iPhone the iPod Touch and the 4th generation Nano switched from FireWire charging to the USB but so I'm gonna go ahead and actually just drop this dock connector in here if I can get it in here and let you guys just see some of the functions there we go but it just does drop down just pretty easily turn it on and it does come with this nice remote which actually has a great amount of functions where you can actually navigate the menu just through the remote now as I was saying if you have the iPhone 3G this will not work all you'll be able to do is hit play volume up and volume down you will not be able to go to the next song sorry one moment you'll not be able to go to the next song and you'll not be able to go to the previous song now one bad thing about this is as you can see the sensor is right here so, if you have a first generation iPod Touch, I'll pull Katie's second gen out right now, you'll be able to see that it's going to block the sensor. So, that's kind of a, I'm going to call it a design flaw, just because if you have a bigger iPod, or even a first generation iPod Touch, which this is compatible with, you're going to have issues getting the remote to work from a lot of locations, because it is a very sensitive sensor that doesn't work a lot of the times if you're not pretty close to it. But, as I was saying, the remote is just, it's pretty, sorry, it does this thing every once in a while where it just kind of blinks down there and I really don't know what that's doing, but it's kind of annoying. But, I'm going to pause that really fast, just show you kind of the interface of it. Just two volume buttons, up and down, power. This is the volume level, since it's muted I'll go ahead and show you, it's just LEDs go up and go down. Now I'll take that down before I accidentally hit play and blast the room out. But on the back you have an AV out, so you can pass video through this into a TV. There's a USB for charging. There is an auxiliary in, so if you have, if you do have the iPhone, well, if you have the iPhone you can plug it into the front, but if you have a, uh, another MP3 player, whether it be a Zune, a Sansa, what, whatever it is really, even another smartphone with music, you can plug it into the auxiliary in, as well as really anything that requires a 3.5mm cord. But, I mean, as far as connectivity usage of it, I would like to say it's a good product. Unfortunately, the sound is very subpar where it doesn't have a lot of lows, the mids are very muddy, and I just... it just isn't clear enough for the $110 that they want for it. Now I did some research, you can in fact get this on eBay for about $50 and I think that's a pretty decent price for it, even then though it might be a little much because chances are with this design it's going to go in a kid's room 
And I just don't think that, I mean, I realize kids don't have as good of ears as some, a lot of you will have, but even then, paying $110 for this, I think is a little, it's just asking a little too much. Now it does have a dedicated subwoofer on the back, which is right here, but even with that, the bases aren't just, it's just not there. Uh, it could be a lot better. I've got mini sound docks at the same price point, which will be showing up in later Sunday sound reviews, but I just don't think this is worth 110. Um, I'll throw a song on right now that I'm distorting the camera. But as I'm hoping you guys can tell the mids really aren't there. The vocals don't come across as well as they should. And Okay, I'm done trying to talk over that, but overall guys, the speakers aren't as good as they need to be. They definitely need to go back, work on the speakers that in this thing and maybe at that point I could recommend this, but right now I just don't think the sound quality is good enough. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell, guys. I think it has a very cool design. I think it has great connection connection options, but the connecti the sound quality isn't there yet. And since this is a speaker dock, sound quality is the most important thing. So, guys, this is Nick. Last stop reviews. Please come back and catch me on my Sunday sound reviews. Let me know if you like them. Let me know what you'd like to see. This is kind of a different avenue I'm traveling down here with this. I will still be doing case reviews. This just kind of something to expand the channel a little bit. So guys, let me know what you think. Hit me up on Twitter. It's Last Stop Reviews. I put all my new content up there. I let you guys know when I'm doing giveaways and I will check you guys later. Thanks for watching. Sorry, last thing I forgot to mention on, I just looked at the camera is this little bag here. This is actually a carrying pouch. It's okay. It's just a piece of cloth. There's no form to it. So whenever you throw this in here, unplug it really fast. Whenever you throw it in here, it's still a very awkward shape. And I realize the dock itself is an awkward shape, but I really don't see that you gain that much by throwing it in here. It's kind of like a little cannonball. So I think that's, I mean, it, it won't keep out water. It's not anything special. So I'm not quite sure the advantages of putting it in here other than maybe just preventing scratches. But guys, this is Nick, Last Stop Reviews. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys later.